And we're also learning more about the deadly stabbing on London Bridge. Britain is currently reassessing its anti-terror measures. As CBS 4's Tom Hansen reports, the suspect was out on early release after a previous terror conviction. Police have identified Usman Khan as the suspect in the London Bridge knife attack that left two dead and several injured. Online, the Islamic State identified Khan as an ISIS fighter. At this time, we found no evidence, no evidence to suggest anybody else was involved in this attack. Police say Khan was wearing a fake suicide vest during Friday's rampage. Good Samaritans quickly tackled him to the ground. Thomas Gray says he was one of those who stepped in. He was, you know, wielding two knives. One was sort of duct taped to his hand. At one point, a bystander ran from the scene with a large blade, apparently taken from the perpetrator. Police shot the suspect dead at close range. Authorities say Khan had been convicted in 2012 in an Al-Qaeda-inspired plot to blow up the London Stock Exchange. He was released early last December on condition he wear an electronic ankle bracelet. It does not make sense for us as a society to be putting terrorist uh, people convicted of terrorist offenses or serious violent offenses out on early release. In 2008, Khan spoke to the BBC after police raided his home. I know terrorists. The London Bridge attack comes just days before the city is set to host a NATO summit with President Trump and other leaders. Tom Hitson, CBS News. The incident and the security questions it raises are also likely to play a part in Britain's general elections. That's less than two weeks away.